Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Frisian horses mainly but I also saw that there were some medieval horse gear slash dragon pet spoilers so I wanted to go ahead and see those as well. I was so upset because after I recorded my new stable update and Frisian spoiler video I realized that CC Creation released the official video with the gates of the horses and I was like like, no because i just missed it by just an hour so i decided to make a completely different video for this because this is my favorite breed of all time and i'm so excited for them to come to the game so let's go ahead and jump right into the video hey guys so i'm officially on youtube and i just want to clarify this once again that this is not my video this is from the youtube channel cc creations so please be sure to check out their channel channel and watch the video if you haven't already let's jump into it i'm so so nervous but also really excited oh my goodness gracious someone help me this is the most luxurious coat i've ever seen in my entire life the shine on this horse is unmatched oh my goodness and i also i really like the movement in the hair i was worried about it looking like the old frisian and being really rigid but it has a nice wave to it which i love i'm just gonna point out that this horse's facial structure for the breed the frisian breed as a whole is spot on this horse just has such a beautiful and kind of regal face and they nailed that on this horse and the feathering is really nice i'm gonna stop reacting to the actual horse and go back to the gate. I really like the walk. It's really relaxed. I also like the confirmation of the horse. These horses have very round necks and usually very developed top lines which i'm glad they gave these horses that they definitely deserve it but there is something about the shape of the body that i'm not sure about i just think there's like some bumps here if you know what i mean <laughs> i feel like it's not a completely straight back and then the horse has zero withers but i have no problem with the length of the horse they have very long backs as a breed i expected to see that and it looks really nice in that way and i also like how tall the horses are they look very athletic and very just they look very regal this trot this is my issue right here you see why is the leg so it's like a little toothpick i don't know why it looks like that but when it's sped up like this it looks much nicer anytime you pause or kind of look closer at the legs they just they look a little funky but it's not too bad i enjoy the trot it's really floaty and really lofty which these horses have a lot of knee movement and a lot of loft in their steps so i think that's really accurate to the horse it's just i don't know there's just something off and i think it's just the legs and how they're moving just makes it a little bit unsettling in some little areas of it but overall it's nice to look at it's just a little strange oh my goodness the canter is beautiful i love the high knee carriage they're very high stepping horses so that fits them perfectly and i just love how they cover the ground and they're just so majestic and the hair hold on let's have a moment for the hair flowing in the wind <gasps> You can even see that little one strand in the forelock kind of separating, which usually the forelock is like an entire unit in and of itself. <laughs> it is a little bit like noodles here. It's much improved from the other Frisian and I'm already loving it. This mane is, I don't even want to know how hard it is to animate this mane. So, you know, props to Star Stable. They've improved a lot with the animation of the manes. The slow gallop is so pretty. I do think the neck is a tiny bit stiff in this. If you pause it here look at this horse right here this looks like a frisian it's beautiful it's majestic it represents the brie and that's exactly what i wanted and i think it's perfect i'm just obsessed with them oh <gasps> that is stunning the gallop just look at this look at the way the mane moves and the forelock moves and even the tail everything's just so active and it just makes the horse look so alive i love it so much and the way i love how they've been animating the horses with their ears back and the gallop it just makes them look like they're trying really hard and it's really adorable <laughs> i love this this is perfect i have no complaints obviously the backup is pretty normal it looks really good and you can see the horse kind of breathing the horse is breathing Thing really rapidly kind of like it's nervous or not sure which is just interesting okay now for this stop 
Ooh, I love that. And I think for some of these other breeds, I think adding in things that are a little more graceful and kind of magical like this are just really nice for the breed because, I mean, Frisians definitely do show jumping and other disciplines, but that's not really, I don't think, what they were bred for. So kind of slamming on the brakes like a show jumper would is not really in character for the horse. So I think this stop fits it so well. But the forelock there, how it just kind of stands up like a unicorn horn. I don't know how you feel about that, but that's okay. It's a tiny little detail, and this is also slow motion. Time for the rear. I'll be honest, I've heard some complaints about this. I'm kind of scared. Okay, let's watch it. Um. Oh, well, that was interesting. Let me just watch that again. Why does the horse look like he is paddling in the middle of the ocean? Like, what? Why is it pawing so quickly? It looks panicked or flustered. I don't know why. It's not terrible. I mean, it's a little bit dramatic and a little bit strange, but it doesn't make or break the horse. It's not the end of the world. I feel like you could still get a majestic picture. Just omitting that part and doing something like here maybe at the beginning of the rear you could still get a nice picture maybe not <laughs> Okay, moving on to the jump. This horse isn't traditionally really a show jumper, kind of like I said earlier. I think they're mainly used in dressage and then just showing them confirmationally. Oh, that's actually really nice. I like that jump. It's nice and graceful. It jumps really good, actually. The knees are really even. I like that jump. Can't remember what horse it jumps like. It looks, it's definitely a recycled animation, I think, but it looks really good and they fit it to this horse really well. All horses kind of jump similarly. Ooh, look at this. This shot is nice. <laughs> I like the tail, how it's kind of lifted up a little bit when it's jumping. That looks really pretty. Since they released that update where the horse can jump multiple times in a row, I feel like they haven't been finishing the jump animation. So if you watch this horse as it lands, it kind of lands on all four feet at the same time instead of finishing the jump and landing on the front feet and then coming back with the hind legs. It just, it looks really unfinished. Like they just missed kind of a transition in the jump. I totally understand how it's more for function and so that we can have that feature of them jumping over and over again, but it does it does bother me a little bit. Ooh, I like this extended trot. Oh my goodness. I love this and the mane moves so pretty. I love this. Oh my word. I am obsessed with this trot actually. I kind of wish this was the trot that was normal instead of the special gate. Why is it so fast? It kind of just looks like it's having a temper tantrum or something. <laughs> Not my favorite the special moves oh my goodness look at the face and the idle animations it's like such a sassy horse which i love because that's so true for frisian and i like this little kind of prance it's not going crazy it's not whipping its head around like some of the other breeds i think it's the pasifino that i'm thinking of or no the american saddlebred is the one that like whips its head and almost like knocks your character out this one's animations are so nice and the care animations they look good they they're the same ones i think that most of the horses have which are really good as they are so i'm kind of glad they kept it the same i don't really think there's much you can change okay and this is what they look like in a race i really liked that they started adding this into the videos because i feel like this is the part that you're gonna see the most when you ride the horse it's very active when it's galloping so that's gonna be maybe a little bit annoying but it's kind of majestic at the same time so i don't really mind it they just have a lot of hair so you know it's gonna be flowing in the wind it's gonna be a little bit distracting and that's okay okay yes the colors i've already seen the colors and i showed those in my other video but i think this is the like true jet black and that's why it's on the app i just love the way that they've done the shine on this horse i think it's almost like a new shader kind of on them i don't know how to describe it but it's just so pretty it makes the horse look like it's super well groomed and just looks really good i just like shiny horses so <laughs> this one is like the iconic standard frisian that you think of when you think of the breed Ooh, i like this spiky mane and i like how they left the forelock there also like how you can leave the forelock for the braids i just i like all the options here and the short mane which i would never do that to a frisian i'm sorry i just would never cut off their luscious locks unless <laughs> it was in braids oh we have the running braid back which is really pretty i love it when they have this i forgot what this is called okay i returned from google and <laughs> it's apparently called a diamond braid okay here's the brownish kind of sun bleached color i've gotten this one in the past and the other versions of the frisians i'm just not extremely drawn to it this time in my opinion it kind of just seems a little washed out and i do 
think the brown on the end of the mane is just a nice touch. Okay, and here is kind of the matte colored one, I think. I think this one might be my favorite out of the shades of black. Hold on, I didn't see these braids before. These long skinny braids. Those are scary. They look like insects or something weird. I don't know. It's not Star Stable's fault. I just feel like it's the main style I just don't love. I don't think I like it on horses in real life either. Oh, this one's so cute. I really do like the... What is this called? It's not roached. Or it actually it is roached, isn't it? I think it is called a roached mane. Stop! This horse is unreal. It looks like it's from a fairy tale. So shiny. It's almost kind of Palomino in a way. And it's so pretty. I love the little star. Oh my goodness. Look at this mane. And the tail is just so pretty. I really like this mane on this horse in particular. And the running braid too. Now this coat, I don't know. In the riding arena, it kind of just looks a little washed out. I feel like they could have made it kind of darker in some of the areas. Like on the knee or over the eye. I feel like some of the shading isn't dark enough. But that might just be me and my preference. It is a pretty horse though. I like the tail too. Tail fade is really nice. Also, this music is so fitting for these horses. I'm loving it. Oh, here we have the one that's kind of graying out, which I think is super unique and just fun to have on a black horse. And even you can see on the tip of the muzzle here, it kind of has some little spots. It's super cute. I think this one would look really nice with this short mane, just so you can see the face marking. I think there's even some graying inside of the ear, which is really cute. And then last but not least, I think this is the one with the star on the forehead, which honestly, I feel like it would be a good idea to just get this one anyway, because you can just cover up the star with the long mane, and then if you want to show it off, you can put it in a short mane, and it really doesn't have a difference between the other one without it. Okay, so here are all of the different shades of black. I definitely, I can see kind of clear as day now that this one right here is definitely my favorite. I think I'm going to have a really hard time deciding between these three right here because they're just all so beautiful and they're all such subtle differences so I'm gonna have to think really hard when I'm choosing between these. The size comparison I love so much that they're tall. I just feel like it really adds to their regal kind of royalty look. Oh my goodness look at the comparison here. It's night and day difference. The faces especially. They look so much better. I'm so happy. That was exciting. I'm so excited for these horses. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this other spoiler video. So I wanted to kind of preview these because the dragon pets and the new gear is amazing. I've seen just a couple pictures here and there. I haven't seen the official spoiler video yet though. Okay, so I'm not going to go through each individual tax set because there are a lot of new tax sets that are coming out. I'm very excited about them, but they all are kind of similar. I just wanted to touch on some of the key items that are really new or just kind of stand out to me. The patterns on these saddle pads are so ornate. It looks like it was hand painted on there. And we've also gotten a lot of new kind of stirrup layouts, which is very cool. So these masks are so pretty and the little veil is just so different. I did not expect this to come out in Star Stable. Everything is just so detailed. It's not even funny. For the Fair Maiden set, they even came out with a crown, which is is so cool. I really love that addition. And the knight, I love the metal bucket hat. That's so cute. And these saddle pads, they kind of look like little castles. I just love it. I think these are the different divisions of knights. You can have the wolves, it looks like, and then the unicorns, I think it was. Okay, and finally, the dragons. I'm so excited about these. They're so cute. I'm so impressed by the way that they colored these. It looks exactly like Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Dragon. I want it so badly. Like, look how adorable. And the little spikes on the back. They're just so detailed. They just are so well done. And I feel like they actually fit the style of the game really well, which I wouldn't have expected from dragons in Star Stable. I feel like that's really odd for them to add those pets. Also, these paddock props make me think that we're going to have a whole entire event. I'd like to see if they maybe kind of developed Yorvik Stables further into a medieval kind of area or if it's just like a limited time event. And I think that's mainly all of the new spoilers for now. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed and leave me a comment if you like. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.